What's up people? So a couple of weeks ago I posted this video about how to make a DIY electronic drum pad which you can watch here and it seems to have picked up enough interest for me to make a follow-up video. So what's the purpose of these videos that I make? Someone commented on one of my previous videos and says see these are a waste of time videos they don't show you anything they're just saying look at me I'm clever Hmm, first off, I'm not trying to prove to anyone that I'm clever, but that's besides the point. I can imagine that there's so many people out there that aspire to play drums, but they cannot afford something like the Roland V drums, which costs $3,000, or any other commercial products which are there, which is why I make these videos. So the challenge for today's video is to make an electronic drum kit in the form factor of something like the Roland V drums, which costs $3,000, but in a budget of an everyday person, something like $50. So one more thing is that we're in the middle of a lockdown and cars are not allowed on the road, apart from trucks like this one. So I'm gonna jump right in. I invite you along if you wanna come for the ride and we go look for the parts. A few moments later
So this is the part where I need to update you on the progress of the projects and also ask you to subscribe and support me on Patreon. <laughs> support me on Patreon. This is a quick update of where I'm at. So I've added these clamps that can be adjusted to change the angle of the drum pads and in some places to support the frame. I've also added this bolt that supports the high hat so that its height can be adjusted. Now on the kick, I have offset the position of the piezo sensor and where the kick hits. I don't want the kick hitting the piezo directly. I've also not exactly figured out what to do with the symbols, but I'm sure I'll figure that out.